Now that was a fu- I was going to try ramming that door with my head if I got bored. Oh well, let's see what's inside. Ah, treasure. My one true love, other than... This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed. Nor I you. But the power of Gao's magic compels me. He summoned me to this place and bound me to guard this chamber. The penalty for all who enter is death. Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power, even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for... I know you. You are one of Master Li's students. You, you are the one who killed my Gao. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer. Gao was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you and your school. My Gao was never good enough for Master Li. You were always his prize pupil. And now my son is... Enough, Gao! 
This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. It had to be them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. Perhaps if I offer your head, and track down that accursed zoo who has been seen in the area, enough old scores will be settled to earn my life. Is that what he calls himself now? Hardly an honest representation of the blood he spilled. It doesn't matter. No matter your allies, I cannot let you survive. Enough talk! I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of death's hand, will of the Emperor. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. After I left you, I stumbled across some very interesting documents. Perhaps I spent too long poring over them, but I couldn't resist. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Is that so? There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. Hey, that's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. If you are planning to take on the servants of Death's Hand, you'll need all the help you can get. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying.
Looks like you've smashed all your enemies around here. We need to find someone else to fight. Let's go back to your camp at Tien's Landing. Use that flying machine to go to the Imperial City. They have plenty of wine and plenty of fighting. and such it really gets the blood flowing and explosions lots of blood flowing from those too i replaced the dust inductor the marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way the heavens welcome my machines but not without considerable cajoling if you want to fly more than a short distance i will need an inscrutable power source <laughs> What wonders cling to you, my friend? There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's Landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. Your friend will see us take off, and he'll head back to town on his own. Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! Don't let them hit us. I just finished this thing.
This new flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Li's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so after all the resistance we have encountered. Hello, but I'm certainly a very Konio Kyoe, a Kawaye, Wokawaye, Watita, Osia, Kwanif, Nifawiye. I never thought I'd be glad to be back here, but I am. Yes, yes, Minister Sheng is properly grateful that you were able to free the peasants. You truly are a great hero, and so on and so forth. More importantly, you destroyed the pirates who Oh, oh, oh soon so oh. Let's see what I can teach you.
prosperous tidings. Uh, what can... That's it! You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. Good, good! My beautiful dragonfly will finally get a real test. Let's hope those modifications hold up. Have you seen anyone matching the description? The Lotus Assassins are getting impatient. They were very vague and wouldn't answer my questions. Are they even sure of who they are looking for? Does it matter? Death's Hand himself seeks this one. Do you need any more incentive than that? Just question everyone. This person apparently caused a lot of damage in the South. Here, what about this one? At least it's a man, like they said. You, identify yourself. By order of the Emperor and the Lotus Assassins, state your name and purpose for being in the Imperial City. We are questioning everyone who has arrived in the city recently. You bear a resemblance to someone we are looking for. I don't know. The young looks, the tunic is similar as well. It's not enough to be sure. Hmm. We could hold him anyway. It's not a good match, but the Lotus Assassins would leave us be for a few days while they question him. Is there a problem here, Captain? Well, is there... No, Princess Leanne. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this man is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, Princess Leanne. Then unless you wish to be transferred to the Wall, you will leave and continue your search. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. I understand. Our last meeting was under... interesting circumstances. You may address me as Princess Leanne, the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. Hmm. Somehow I did not expect you to kowtow so quickly. Or maybe I just hoped you wouldn't. I get so tired of fawning servants. 
That is why I often travel without official escort and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. That would be best. I trust the servants I keep, but this is best discussed away from the open street. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. Very well. We will continue speaking later. I'm sure we both have questions that need answering. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sunlian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. lookout for the scourge of the south it is your duty as citizens of the empire to report anyone who matches this description keep an eye out for a young man dressed in plain blues and greens he is heavily armored from head to foot reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and fully armed this man is very dangerous do not try to apprehend the scourge of the south but instead report what you've seen to the authorities immediately <laughs> Scourge of the South! Is that the best they could come up with? They miss your looks too! <laughs> Bounties won't collect themselves.